good evening so um, today's episode we're gonna show you how do we make a home automation system using particle photon um, a four channel relay and uh, practically we can use any of our appliances that we can connect to to the relay but uh, we just gonna show you uh, connecting the LED uh, just in case uh, which represents the uh, LED light right so uh, to start with I'll just explain the components here so as you can see here this is a particle photon and as you know particle photon is a very small form factor device uh, we can power it up using the USB micro USB connector uh, it has uh, <coughs> around eight digital IOs and then it has six analog outputs IOs as well and uh, it's very versatile it can connect to the particle cloud so which means uh, what we need to pro uh, actually do is connect this particle cloud uh, to our internet router uh, this setup is very very simple by using a particles uh, Android or an iOS app and then we have connected the um, you know the output of this um, so you can you can see this this four channel relay board so this relay board can be powered on using 5 volt DC right and uh, then we have four inputs so we are using only one input at the moment and as you can see uh, the specifications of uh, these relays so it says um, that uh, it can withstand around uh, 10 amperes uh, for an AC voltage um, and uh, uh, the AC voltage could be either 125 volt or 250 volt max and it can also withstand a DC voltage of uh, 30 volt 10 ampere or 28 volt 10 amperes and as I said initially the relay is operated using a 5 volt uh, power so it's pretty simple simple uh, design as you can see that I'm actually going to connect uh, one of the uh, USB <coughs> charger or USB adapter to the photon and this 5 volt USB adapter will also power our, our photon as well as the uh, relay so it's very simple I have just made the connections uh, here and uh, it's pretty simple so I'm not going to walk through you walk you through the connection stuff but um, so I'll simply plug it in and once I plug it in you can see that uh, the particle photon because I've already uh, configured it you see that uh, the LED blinks and then uh, after some time it becomes stable it becomes uh, once it becomes stable it goes into the hibernation mode which means that um, it's currently the idle and uh, now it's connected to the internet there is absolutely no problem for it it has connected to the internet and what I want to do now here is I just need to open an Android app so uh, let me just show you how it works so there's a particle app now and uh, it searches for your devices so as you can see that I have two particle photons and one shows green the other one shows red so the green means uh, it's online and the green that one shows online is basically nothing but this particle photon and I have another one which is not uh, yet uh, which is not powered on so it, it does shows offline so it's, it's pretty simple now I'm gonna uh, now it's in the uh, tinkering mode so I just tap on it and I see that there are different channels and what I've done here on the circuit is that I've used uh, D5 which is nothing but the sixth you know this pin basically D5 this white color uh, you know cape wire which is connected to the first input so this relay and this relay's output then as you can see it goes to the LED so here I can practically use any uh, home appliances uh, which uh, can withstand not more than 10 amperes current I think it's pretty uh, good specification so um, for example a fan or a, or a light uh, tube light or, or a bulb so we can use that 
and now what I'm going to do is basically <coughs> this has already been configured as the input output cha output channel so what I'm going to do is basically uh, I'm going to toggle the status for this and as you see that now it's high which means uh, the it's it's off so when I'm going to pull it down when I'm going to make it low this guy uh, as soon as I make this low you would see that the LED will turn on and it's it's through internet there's no Bluetooth uh, no direct Wi-Fi so it's gonna be over the internet so once I place this and you can see that the LED glows and we get a response acknowledgement which shows that now the status is lower here you can see this okay so I'm gonna do it again and you can see that the LED switches off. You have to also observe the uh, relay status. So as you can see that this is a relay. So relay has some LEDs as well. So when I switch on, pull it on, you can see that this LED glows. Right. And uh, I have also connected D1. So if I just pull D1, so you can see that D1 is connected. But actually, uh, I have not connected this uh, relay to any of the appliances so you, you actually don't see anything but, but the relay is switched on so I just switch it off I switch it off and you see that both relay status and all together so I'm just going to put it side by side and now I'm going to um, you know uh, change the status uh, so I'm going to so you can see that the LED glows here LED glows and that's it pretty simple thank you for your attention